My name is Mona Zanea Shatella, and I'm the board president of the African People's Education and Defense Fund. APDF is the sponsor of the Black Power Blueprint that has been transforming and building economic and political power to develop the north side of St. Louis since 2017. We renovated a 9,000 square foot building on West Florissant Avenue to create the Uhura House Community Center with a beautiful event venue that is popular for conferences, birthday parties, and weddings. Across the street from the Uhura House, we built an outdoor venue and the Gary Brooks Black Power Garden, which has completed its third season of planting and harvesting. Our One Africa, One Nation Farmers Market completed its second year at the end of October. We work with black growers and farmers locally and in the region to bring fresh fruits and vegetables to a community under food apartheid. The market also provides opportunities for economic development for community members that build their businesses through vending their products and services. We worked for two and a half years to raise over $150,000 to build a Black Power Vanguard basketball court where our children now have a safe place for recreation that promotes health and uplifts the whole community. We have taken a dilapidated building and renovated it to provide quality housing to community members coming out of the prison system. Under the slogan, Our Labor, Our Future, the African Independence Workforce Program is designed to reverse the negative in economic impact of prisons on the north side of St. Louis. All of you have, all you have to do is walk down West Florida and you will see the mark we have made, including the beautiful murals that we have created to uplift and inspire the entire community. This is not nothing, there's nothing else that we have not done. We have a commercial kitchen and bakery under construction, a Black Power Blueprint Square Retail Center coming and more. Just like in the times of Martin Luther King Jr., we have had to overcome nonstop obstacles and even violence. On July 29th of this year, when the FBI raided seven of our movement homes and institutions, in a violent pre-dawn 5 a.m. military style race, we held strong and we went ahead with the doula training program set for that day at the Uhura House. We trained 14 African women to become doula. Now we see the violence and destruction of this historic church in our community. Last October, the African People's Education and Defense Fund signed a contract to buy the Sanctuary Church here at 4443 Red Bud Avenue in order to transform this space into a larger community center to serve our people. The seller asked us to extend the contract twice, pushing the cl uh, closing date to mid-December, and then suddenly, without any explanation, asked for an additional $50,000. <laughs> Then on Sunday morning, January 7th, I looked out my window, which I live right here, mm -hmm. and I saw that the church was on fire. It was engulfed in flames. The burning of this church is an assault on this community. Yes. That is in a few yes. short years, has worked with APDF to build and invest in our future. We want you to, we want you to know who burned this church. Yeah. Where is the investigation? Yes. Yes. The attacks on this community and the movement must stop now. Yes. We will not be, this will not be a setback. We are con uh, continuing our programs. Our major project for 2023 is building Ahura Wakalia, which is a, our African Women's Health Center on the property we have already acquired. Ahura Wakalia will not only impact the women and families it serves, but it also trains women to be entrepreneurs. Economic empowerment is the foundation of a healthy life. APDF mission and mantra is to defend the human and civil rights of the African community. And we believe that African people have the right to self-determination. Right. Oh, oh.